Nyasai Ber, people of Nyanza, people of Siaya, Hamjambo, Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Leo tumefika hapa kuomboleza, kuomboleza pamoja na familia za wale vijana wetu ambao waliuawa kupitia risasi iliyopiatuliwa na polisi wa Kenya. Na tumehuzunika mno Kenya nzima. Naomba munisikilize nitakuwa mfupi sana kwa maneno. Lakini takayoyazungumza pengine yana ushawishi mkubwa sana. Mimi naamini Inspector General wa Police haja soma katiba 2010 ya Kenya. Kama ameisoma Senior Council Martha Senior Council my brother uh, and Governor of Siaya Senior Council Omolo Tiende I refer us to Article 243 of Constitution 2010. This article establishes the National Police Service not the police force police service Article 245 establishes the office of the Inspector General of Police I refer us to those articles Now The only way Kome can get away with criminal liability he <laughs> is to resign. Yeah. And even if he resigns it is not enough. He can only get away if he establishes under article 245 that he was given instructions by Kindiki to do what he did trying to kill baba i was with raila when they hit him mara kumi tulipo escape na kione alikuwa nyuma yetu tukafika mahali kwa tulikuwa tumejificha kwa hoteli moja rafa utuju baba kaniambia come and i show you something alienda kanaonyesha angalia hii bullet moja bullet mbili hii ilikuwa na nilenga bullet ya tatu Mungu ni mwema gari yenyewe ilikuwa kabisa ya kiongozi hawangeweza kama sio hiyo gari tungekuwa tungeongea tuki, tume, tukiongea mambo mengine Kenya hii macho yangu mwenyewe nikaona nikathibitisha kwamba hii ni risasi from what brother Jim Orengo refers to as assault rifles. Assault rifles. Ya kwenda kugang ile ambayo ingepigana na ushababu na watu kama hao. Ilikuwa ina, inaelekezwa Raila Amolo Odinga. That was after the battle ndugu, the battle of pipeline. We have been in demonstrations before with some of our colleagues who have since wamesalimu amri Remember siku za code tukisema kina Hassan waende na walienda tulifanya demonstration tukapigwa tear gas lakini hii ilikuwa vita hii haikuwa mambo ya tear gas hii ilikuwa ni kumaliza Raila once and for all wengine walisema hivyo walisikika wakisema they want the final solution ya to do away with Raila Molo Odinga lakini Mungu ni mwema Raila ako hapa The battle of pipeline Hatujasikia wale watu walikamatwa wameonyeshwa kwa runinga za dunia Somebody with assault rifles akimpiga piga gari yake na hata ya media car hajashikwa Na huyu Kome alisikika baada ya kwenda kuiba kondoo za mamangina Northlands wakisema wakisema they are going to watashika walio waliokuwa wanahusika remember the story of invasion of northlands nobody has been apprehended 
So what do we trust? Tunaamini yapi? Maneno gani? I mean maneno yapi anaweza kuyazungumza hao wa Kenya wazalendo wakaamini wa hiyo inspector general. So if you akionyesha kwamba he received written instructions and article 245 senior council Jim Orengo the only way he can get away with it if he says he received a written instructions to go and try to assassinate Raila Odinga mimi niliponia chupu chupu madhare na yale magari ambayo <laughs> again ndugu Jim Orengo alikuwa akizungumzia hii haikuwa malori ya kawaida yanabeba ile maria hiyo inabeba sumu chemicals za kuadhuru watu wa Kenya therefore we shall not deal with this matter i don't believe this matter of police brutality is even for our team in the dialogue team this is a bigger issue this is a very serious matter and it should be addressed separately kwa hivyo mtu anaweza kutolewa kama inspector general of police kama mwenda wazimu kama ni bankrupt kama kama ana fail under chapter 6 on integrity and therefore that's why i believe who inspector general if indeed he is an inspector general whether he has actually read the constitution and let him not bring the good people of meru mimi natoka sehemu ile nyingine ya meru meru kwangu ni nyumbani wa meru hatuwezi na wadharaka pale ndugu zangu majirani zangu tuaibishwe na mtu mmoja anajiita kome na kukusema kusema anadhulumiwa kwa sababu ni momeru haiwezekani so we have to deal with them therefore my advice today out of bond if indeed there is rule of law in this country by the way ruto anaweza pia akamfuta kazi ingawaje alikuwa approved na bunge hili ili bunge amuku kumbuka when i remember was in germany wakati raila alirudi after the 2017 elections na yule alikuwa in charge ya kupiga watu tear gas that time kombe mwenyewe alikuwa anatupa mawe <laughs> kwa hii statement anasema what do you expect of us amuja isoma hii maneno amesema maneno makubwa sasa anasema what do you expect of us kama mtu anabe, anakuja na na mawe na sisi tuko na buduki what do you expect of us now he, he forgets this is not any more kenya police force this is kenya police service utumishi therefore mimi naona swala hili limegadhabisha watu wengi sana wa kenya wote the most honorable thing and even when in addressing our international friends if you think this kenya this country can be a nation under the rule of law which it should be but unfortunately right now is a nation under police brutality then you have to advise accordingly come does not qualify as we speak to be the inspector general of Kenya police ni mimi maliza yangu na kome wangapi anakubaliana na mimi <laughs> eh hey. because hata mambo ya shakawala angekuwa jameni amegundua watu 400 wameuawa kule therefore anybody at the level of inspector general ambaye anasema viongozi wanaweza kwenda na kurendi mili yani kununua mili kwa mog that is why i'm saying under act chapter 6 of the laws of the constitution of kenya he completely falls short and he should resign that is a message i wanted myself na najua kwamba watu wengi hapa wamegadhibika sana kwanza mtu anayota wajakoya ameongea kijalu ile kali sijawahi kumsikia <laughs> Mili ya dhambo my landed sister akiongea ile lugha aliongea hapa. Na kuna daktari hapa aliongea ingine mbaya. Watu wamegadhabika. And therefore mimi naona tu tukubaliane. Kwamba tujitahidi Kenya ni yetu sisi zote. We agree that every inch of Kenyan territory belongs to Kenya 
and we have equal rights and responsibilities, we cannot negotiate the issue of rights. Kwa mfano, ni haki kabisa kikatiba kisheria kwa mba liekua Prime Minister wa Kenya, Raila Molo Dinga, is entitled under the Kenyan law to proper protection. Mime ningekua ruto, ningekimbia sana kwa kisha Raila, anapata askari wote. Imagine kama Raila anaujumiwa. Just imagine. Just imagine. Na swala hili, even before the talks, atutaki kulizungumzia. Because yale ambao metupeleka kule, ni kwa kikisha kwamba tunaweka haki za wanainchi kwanza mbele. Agenda yote, tutaikubaliana nae jumatatu. Alafu tutazungumza mambo yote, yote, yote. Ambayo munajua tunayailewa. Na aturudi nyuma, atuwezi. Wanagapa anasema tuzirudi nyuma. Kwa hivyo, mimi, leo, Naomba tu nikome hapo ni mwalike dada yangu madha wangari karua. Chini ya kama. Bodo untie.